What if I told you that, right this moment, you're on a vehicle moving at over 1,000 miles per hour, even while standing still, and that this is only the first and the slowest of many absurd speeds on your journey through the Cosmo? Today, we're going to understand the physics that allows us to take this trip without even noticing. My name is Lucas, and welcome to Cosmic Galaxies. The first piece of the puzzle is inertia. You only feel motion when there is a change in velocity. On a train, you feel the jolt when it starts, but once it reaches a constant speed, you can walk, have a coffee, and if you throw a ball up in the air, it will land in your hand as if you were standing still. The Earth is our train, and this train has a special feature. It carries its own cabin of air. The Earth's atmosphere, held by gravity, spins right along with us at the same constant speed. This is why we don't face a supersonic wind of 1,000 miles per hour. The air around us is traveling at the same speed we are. We are all in perfect sync. And what ensures the constant speed of this vehicle? The answer is the absence of a break in space. Here on Earth, if a car stops accelerating, it eventually stops because of air resistance and friction with the ground. In the vacuum of space, there is almost nothing to slow the Earth down. Once it was set in motion billions of years ago by the law of inertia, it continued and will continue to spin and orbit in an incredibly stable way for a very, very long time. But if we're spinning so fast, why aren't we thrown off into space? The answer is a battle of forces. The rotation generates an outward force, the centrifugal force. But the force of gravity, which pulls us toward the center of the planet, is about 300 times more powerful. It's an overwhelming victory. And the force of gravity isn't the same everywhere on the planet. Because of the rotation, the Earth is slightly flattened at the pole and wider at the equator. This means that if you're at the equator, you are a little farther from the Earth's center than if you were at the North Pole. And because of this extra distance, gravity at the equator is a tiny bit weaker. You weigh about 0.5% less at the equator than you do at the poles. It's a minuscule difference, but one that physics can measure. Gravity keeps us firmly glued to the ground. And although we don't feel the speed, the effects of the rotation are everywhere, in ways we don't even imagine. It's what creates the cycle of day and night, influences the tides, and generates the Coriolis effect. It's this subtle force that causes hurricanes in the Northern Hemisphere to spin in one direction, and in the Southern Hemisphere in the opposite direction. The rotation is invisible, but its consequences are gigantic and shape our planet's climate. And all of this complex physics happens while our ship, Earth, is itself on other journeys. We travel around the sun at 67,000 miles per hour, and the sun takes us on a journey around the Milky Way at 515,000 miles per hour. We are travelers on multiple cosmic journeys without ever leaving our spot. But let's push our minds to the limit with a catastrophic thought experiment. What would happen if, by some magic trick, the Earth stopped spinning all of a sudden? Well, in the first few seconds, Inertia, the law of physics that says a body in motion tends to stay in motion, would come into play. Brutally, everything not firmly attached to the planet's core, people, buildings, cars, trees, rocks, would be instantly launched eastward at supersonic speeds. It would be like a global sweep, leaving no stone unturned, a destructive force far greater than any atomic bomb. The oceans, also due to inertia, would continue their movement. In other words, gigantic waves would rise. True tsunamis, miles high, would sweep across the continents, covering everything in their path. The atmosphere, in turn, would transform into global winds with unprecedented speed, generating such intense friction that it would set the planet's surface on fire. And if anything survived all of that, it would have to face a new day and night. One side of the planet, would be permanently facing the sun, becoming a scorching desert, while the other side would freeze in an eternal glacial night. It's proof that the constant, invisible motion we experience every day isn't just a curiosity. It's what guarantees the stability and the very existence of our world as we know it. So, the next time you feel perfectly still and silent, remember, physics and gravity are conducting a dance of unimaginable speeds to ensure that your tranquil journey continues.
If you've ever looked at the sky and felt small, remember, you're part of something bigger. Join our mission and become a cosmic explorer today. As a thank you, you'll instantly receive your free copy of the Astro Book, our guide to the universe. Click join or find the link below. And keep exploring the stars with us. Thanks for watching.